Mr. Bear, Chair, Chairwoman Ramirez, thank you for being here. I, I am increasingly concerned about uh, internet giants that use their positions as dominant media platforms to stifle competition and inhibit the free flow of ideas. In recent years, we've heard countless allegations of online intermediaries leveraging their market dominance to the detriment of content creators and innovative startups. Google has preferenced its own products and services and, and search results while downgrading competitors' products and services. I've heard from photographers and from um, uh, stock houses, uh, uh, photography stock houses, online stock houses, uh, that Google may be taking original content from uh, the website of these stock houses uh, without appropriate compensation or attribution. Uh, Apple is preventing its co competitors in the music streaming market from promoting lower prices to consumers on Apple iOS. And Amazon is using its dominance in the book market to impose unfair contractual terms on publishers and authors. Uh, what are you doing to address allegations that these dominant platforms' unilateral behavior is anti-competitive and may ultimately harm the free flow of ideas and content? Um, um, Senator, thank you for that question. I think we both actually have uh, areas where we're actively involved and will want to respond. In, in connection with provision of, of content to a consumer, uh, we are quite focused on uh, what I call the one pipe problem. The fact that uh, for most Americans, uh, they only have the choice of one or zero high speed internet service providers. So there is one pipeline into the home. The incentives for the people who control that one pipeline to favor uh, content they may have created on their own, to, uh, uh, to price differentiate in a way that uh, uh, denies creative works the opportunity to be seen, the incentive to discourage over-the-top transmission of content, video, uh, that is really the new wave of how we are, we are increasingly viewing content and giving us an option to avoid the one pipe, to avoid uh, or limit the dominance of the Internet service provider. So in both mergers and in looking at, at conduct, we look at restrictions such as most favored nations clauses. We look at behavior that basically uh, limits the ability of the upstream provider of the entertainment value to get to the consumer and also potentially limits or raises the cost to consumers to get access to that conduct. So those are areas that are of concern to us and we have a number of active investigations going on. It is one of the factors, a key factor, that led us to oppose Comcast's acquisition of Time Warner for Thank fear for that the problem would go. You're welcome. Yeah. Senator, we are also very focused on any industry, regardless of whether it's going to be in the online sector or elsewhere, if, there's going to, if there is a company that has a dominant position that may be, um, rather than competing on the merits, um, competing in a way that meaningfully interferes with a rival's ability to either enter the market or to be a, an effective competitor. So we're going to be looking at that issue um, in any part of the marketplace, and if we see a problem, we're certainly going to intervene. Um, you are no doubt aware that the Commission did, um, back in early 2013, um, conclude that um, and decide unanimously not to bring an action against Google for its search practices, but I can assure you that we continue to be um, watching the marketplace vigilantly, and if we see a problem, um, we are going to, to take have, action. Have you looked at Google's practice of putting up uh, images that uh, stock houses have and people just take them off the Internet and don't pay for them? So I'm afraid that I can't get into any details of, of any potential investigation by the agency, but what I can tell you is that we are looking closely at a number of different issues, and if we feel 
that a company is crossing the line um, and not competing on the merits, we absolutely will not hesitate to intervene.